New details emerging tonight about the Aurora Co uh, Code Enforcement Officer murdered in broad daylight as the search continues for his killer. Sky Fox over the scene this afternoon. You can see a swarm of police cars converged on the quiet neighborhood where the shots rang out. Tonight, there's concern the gunman may be prowling around the area near 19th and Clinton. Fox 31's John Romero has been following this story all day. John, what's the latest? Ron, I can tell you the very latest is this gunman is still on the loose tonight. The victim was an Aurora Code officer. They wear a badge. They do not carry a gun. They're the kind of guys who would come to your house right here, maybe cite you for having grass too tall or a car in your yard. We do not know the motive tonight of this shooting, and unfortunately, the police right now have called off their search. They start stringing the tape around here. A neighborhood in the crosshairs. This is crazy. It's very, very crazy. Guns. The whole block is being secured at this time. <laughs> dogs. They got police dogs now there and everything. Helicopters. I think they're looking for the suspect. Everything except the gunman in what police call a cold-blooded killing in this apartment building. The gunman's described as a uh, young black male in his late teens. <laughs> It began around 145, an Aurora code officer on a routine inspection enters the building. He was just making his way inside or had stepped inside when he was shot. He was hit once in the chest, died an hour later. He popped around the back of your house where he wasn't supposed to be. His name, Rodney Morales. Neighbors said he was involved in an increasingly violent series of confrontations and worried he'd be targeted. We were told by Aurora PD that he probably wouldn't make it through the summer. His luck must have ran out. But after a door-to-door, -door, yard to yard search, police could still not find his killer. Only this sweatshirt left a block from the crime, turning by nightfall to the public for tips. We are asking tonight that anyone with any information that might be helpful to this investigation to please call us. An inspector trying to bring this block up to code. I suppose you're moving right across the street. I don't know if I want to move over there now or not. Dead, leaving it looking like a battlefield. Now, the guy who fired these shots, police do not know if he lived back there. They don't know what he was doing there or why he fired those shots. The Aurora Chamber of Commerce has offered a $10,000 reward for information tonight. But police say if you see someone matching that description, a young African-American man, light-skinned, skinny, do not approach him. Call 911 immediately. He is, to say the very least, considered armed and dangerous. Ron. John Romero live tonight in Aurora, and of course, we'll go back to John with any new development. It's just a matter of time, a few days ago, I saw you, you were fine, remember what you said about the book you read, the one I got you, the beginning of the year.